Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we are going to paint a wreath of poppies. So grab your paints and let's get started. Right, so I've got a little circle drawn on my page which of course you can do with a compass or drawing round something round. And now I'm going to just, just gonna launch in. So I've got some cadmium red and this is a size six brush. And I do actually have a a poppy painting tutorial in my new book which we're going to sort of loosely follow so I'm just painting in like scribbling in as you can see three petals like that and then I might just add a little bit extra some of the paler sections and I'm just going to go round and paint in the three petal sections like that. So you can see they dry a little bit lighter, which is great. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back round and I'm going to paint in some more poppy petals in the gaps. But I've also woken up my, um, my Mars Black And we're going to just drop in a little bit. So we'll do that again. So I'm probably painting in a slightly, slightly lighter tone, but not a huge amount more. And I'm just painting in the gaps. So sort of filling up that shape of the poppy clean my brush off, pick up a little bit of Mars Black and just dab, just dabs, that's all you need. Right, we're gonna go round and fill those up. This is looking really pretty, I'm really happy with it. But you can see obviously that in painting in that kind of loose style, our wreath is a bit uneven, which is absolutely fine because we've got a few other things we can do. First off is a few leaves here and there. Now poppy leaves are long, fine, sort of pointy, thin leaves and I'm just mixing up some green gold and some sap green to get a bit of a mix there and I've got a size 4 brush and what I think would be nice is to just add in a few little leaves here and there obviously we need to wait for this to be dry and the other thing is just adding a little bit of extra colour to the poppies themselves just for a little bit extra detail and then of course the final thing will be a few extra little dots of black in the middle. So I'm just waking up some Alizar and Crimson and mixing that with some Cadmium Red just to make a slightly deeper crimson. So it's so important to get your colours mixed up and ready and then we'll just let this dry just for a few more minutes and then we'll be ready to go. Okay we're ready to go then. Except the first thing <laughs> is make sure your paint has got off your brush. Make sure you've cleaned your brush properly. There we go. Okay. So with that lighter green, I can paint in these little tufts of green. You might want to use a slightly smaller brush, it's up to you really. But what my aim is, is to try and use the green tones to even out the shape of the wreath here. So now I've got my sap green and a size zero brush and I'm just starting to add a few low lights to these leaves. And you can see I'm sort of doing it all with a little bit of uh, a few gaps in between. But I'm going to be filling it in with, a, with an intention 
of sort of evening out the shape. That's looking really nice. And now I've got my ready pink color to just scribble a bit of color here and there along the edges of some of these poppies. Because of course poppies have that amazing sort of frill to their petals. And this, this is just another little way of building up your flowers and making them look really effective. Whenever I teach, the, my big approach is always, you start off with the basic wash shape and then you slowly build up the layers. And usually, as you build up those layers, your colours get a little bit more intense and deep and your brush gets a little bit smaller and that is a really good sort of rule for successful simple flower painting in my watercolour style and if that sounds good to you and if you like what you see I have got three books that are full of flowers flower paintings we all learn in slightly different ways um, so I know for some people the, they just adore ad adore the books. Um, and I can just make that a little bit taller as well there. And you can get all of those as signed copies, which might just be a rather wonderful Christmas present for someone. Or why don't you tell if some, if you want one, just drop a few hints. Just send them a link to this video and, and this timestamp when I'm talking about it. <laughs> but yeah, in my Etsy store, you can get your hands on the signed copies of my books and that would be just a lovely Christmas present I think. Now that's looking really really nice. So the last thing of course is the centre of those flowers and those very famous poppy seeds. Well another thing that a lot of people don't notice of the centre of a poppy is a little bit of green so I'm just doing a few dabs of green gold and that's why I just kept those centres bare like that and then for the final detail we'll go right down to a size 4 tenths brush and I'm going to take some Mars Black, really concentrated Mars Black and if I can get my brush to work, there we go a few dots around the centre We'll just finish this off really nicely. And there you have your poppy wreath. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that one. I want to say a huge thank you to our patrons for their support, because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. And of course, if you never want to miss another video, then hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.